Griddle Master. Cooking up the good stuff. Hey, Griddle Master Jr. and Griddle Master Jr. Jr. You should be in this, so you could come on out. And so we're gonna do a cheesy zucchini type of dish. And we have our um, spiralized zucchini, one pound. All right, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Right now we have our griddle top on. We want to get it around 450 degrees because typically you would roast this. So I'm going to go ahead and put some olive oil in here. Just a little bit. We're going to let it get hot just a little bit. Let me get my, I guess I'm using this one because mom has it from... We want to let that get hot, 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 hot. And we're just going to drop our tomatoes on here. Half a cup of tomatoes. Half a cup of tomatoes, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And we're going to dome it. That one's too big. We have our handy dandy handle it. So we are roasting, look at that, look at that heat coming out from under there. So the heat's coming up and we got our convection bake roast. And so we're hitting those tomatoes, we're gonna hit them for about seven minutes like that, just so that they could brown. And in the meantime, we're gonna cook up some bacon. Bacon! You got three slices of bacon. Oh, that's a good one. Three. So, Obviously, he's got trouble with commitment. No. <laughs> okay, so while this is doing this, is there anything else we need to do? Uh... We could do the butter in here. Yeah, yes. If you want to do the butter, we'll go ahead and do two tablespoons of butter. One, two. <laughs> One, four. <laughs> Woo. All right. And what are we putting in that? Uh, we're putting in two sliced scallions. Okay. Light parts only. The light parts only of the scallions, not the the harder white part, but the the lighter part. Sure. And anything else? One tablespoon of minced garlic. Garlic. Gotta have garlic in everything we do. Two or te teaspoon. 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 Tablespoon. It's garlic. It really doesn't matter. Tomato. Tomato. <laughs> All right. Now let's look at these tomatoes because I'll tell you what, the griddle top don't play. That looks like great grandma. So dead? <laughs> People don't know. Not right. All right. So this is already, this, how long was this? Only for like a minute, yeah? Yeah, it didn't, doesn't give a time, but it's only been on there for probably a minute, two minutes max. All right, what goes in it? All right, we have uh, two teaspoons of flour. So that means we're making a roux. All right. Mini roux. Stir, stir it in. Get it all creamy, stick it up. And then next you'll add two-thirds cup of milk. Leche. Zucchini con leche. Okay. You will stir. Then you will add in one half teaspoon of Dijon mustard. 
you don't. How am I going to get this out? Like that. Ben? All right. Half a teaspoon of salt. Hit it. Bam. And? A pinch of cayenne. Pinch. Whisk okay. or stir until thickened. All right, I think these tomatoes are going to be ready. Ready. Look good. All right. Take off heat. Those look great. Yeah. All right. So it says take it off oh, the heat. Oh, this looks... Stir it a little bit. Take it off the heat. And then you... Uh, it definitely got thicker. You stir in the cheese. One third cup of cheddar. Bacon. Don't forget about your bacon. Okay. Oh, that looks great. That's a cheesy sauce. That's delicious. Okay, now we're gonna drop the zucchini. Yes, one pound of zucchini and olive oil for two minutes. Well, we're gonna put that right over the bacon grease. Olive oil, olive oil. Who wants olive oil when you have bacon grease? Healthy people. <laughs> Well, this is a healthy meal. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's a healthy meal. I only got cheese and cream and bacon grease. All your main food groups. It also has zucchini. And bacon. Scallions. Scallions. That's veggies right there. That means it's healthy. Wow, zucchini really looks amazing. Like. It looks like that stuff that, for real, that they used to serve in, um, like, Benihana, the bean sprouts, like. Oh, yeah. But it looks like spaghetti, too. Sounds like you're hungry. <laughs> it's a little like noodles and bean sprouts. Spaghetti. How long? It says a couple minutes only? Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. And then it says uh, top with tomatoes and bacon once you add it to the cheese. Oh, we gotta stir it in here. All right, so we have our tomatoes and our bacon. Now we're gonna put it on top. So there you go. We are doing cheesy zucchini, spiral zucchini with a, with a cheesy sauce. We did this in about 15 minutes max with mm -hmm. prep with prep we're talking on the grill on the griddle probably like eight minutes and we were done we we cooked bacon we cooked the garlic and, and did the cheesy sauce roasted we, tomatoes roasted tomatoes roasted tomatoes on the griddle top and we cooked the zucchini on in like eight minutes and here we go this is a meal a, a total complete meal all we need is bread so, Griddle Master Jr., Jr., Griddle, Griddle Master, I'm sorry, Griddle Master Jr., Griddle Master Jr., Jr. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe oh. down, hit that red button, smash it, do whatever you like, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and all the other things. Awesome. Later. All right, so we got our zucchini. Let's see what we got. You already saw the pictures, I think.
Ooh. I get tomato. Mmm. That's really good. For being uh very light. Yeah. And I like the cheesy the cheesy flavor. Griddle Master Junior Junior said he didn't it could do without the bacon. I but I like the bacon. I think it needs real butter. I think yeah, I think we maybe maybe we could lower lessen the butter. And use real butter. <laughs> but and re use real butter than the, the whirl. But uh, I like the flavor of this. It's great. That's yeah. Well I don't know if some of this is the juices from the zucchini from right. the zucchini from the tomatoes. Because you know the tomatoes are busted. Oh, you know what it is? Don't cook it in the the zucchini and the bacon grease. Oh yeah, yeah, all that grease was there. Oh, that's what it is. But it tastes good. It still tastes good, yeah. It does. It's very good. I would make it again. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, it's really good. Definitely good recipe. There's a good recipe to make. <coughs> There's a griddle master thumbs up, and you'll make the wife happy because. If you put some bacon in your pocket, and that way you could serve her the healthy side of it, and then just put the bacon afterwards, <laughs> and we'll be good. So, Griddle Master Junior Junior, or Griddle Master Junior, Griddle Master Junior Junior's on the camera, and Griddle Master, hope you guys really try this and enjoy it. Remember, like us on Facebook, YouTube, blah, 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 thumbs up, ring bell, all that stuff. <laughs> Griddle Master out.